What is going on? Your boy Demetrius is back with another Tekken 8 video. This video here, we are going to talk about something that revolves around Kuma and Panda, actually. But I think mostly it revolves around Kuma because Harada has stated in the past that he does prefer Kuma over Panda. So it's like, you know, it's really about Kuma, even though Panda is included. One of the things that people have been wanting to know is why are the Bears a part of the base roster? And then the second part of that is why are the Bears a part of the base roster and why do the Bears have their own palettes? So that has always been the biggest question for the last couple of months. Now, it seems that Harada has kind of come out and pretty much said the reason why he continues to put kuma and panda in the base roster when it comes to these tekken games but i think ever since tekken 5 the bears have been a part of the base roster ever since from tekken 5 up until now they've been a part of the base roster and in tekken 8 it ain't no different now in tekken 8 a lot of people are like well you got so many legacy characters and so many different characters why are the bears a part of the base roster and it seems that harada has come out and he's kind of explained why he loves the Bears so much and why they're pretty much a part of the base roster. Now, he isn't saying specifically Tekken 8, but like I said, they've been a part of the base roster for a long time now. And Harada responded to someone that basically asked him, why does he put the Bears in the base roster or why does he put the Bears in the game anyway? As you see, I got the tweet up here on the screen of the person that is asking Harada, why are the Bears in the game? And Harada responds to it. And this person says that I'm relatively new to Tekken as a franchise. Why did you decide to just put a bear and a panda in the game? Like, I love the decision. They are the best. But why? <laughs> uh, and they said they are the best. I'm not going to knock that person's opinion. You know, we all we, we all got our opinions. And then Harada responds and said, I simply thought it'd be fun. Isn't it interesting that video games allow you to do things that are hard to do in real life? And a long time ago, there used to be a certain number of people who wanted to face a bear at least once as a martial artist. <laughs> so that is Harada's response. Now, like I said, this isn't specifically Tekken 8, but with the bears being a part of the base roster, you can kind of see where Harada is coming from with that response. He's basically saying it's fun and he's basically taking advantage of what the video games have to offer. He's also basically saying that he's taking advantage of the high new tech and shit like that. You know, Tekken 8, the most technically advanced Tekken game so far. So he's practically taking advantage of what's going on. But I do have to say something about this last sentence that Harada said that certain number of people who wanted to face a bear <laughs> at least once as a martial artist. Um... Uh, I don't know. I think he kind of got that from Zangief because y'all got to remember when Street Fighter 2 first came out, Zangief's bio basically said that he likes to fight bears for fun. So I think Harada low-key got that from Zangief because I'm a martial artist my damn self and I train with other martial artists and not one of them said that they wanted to fight a bear even for fantasy purposes. <laughs> So, you know, I think Harada kind of got that from Street Fighter low key. So that's pretty much Harada's response, why he continues to put the Bears a part of the base roster. Now, as for the Bears uh, having their own palette. Now, here's my thing with this. Harada and development team, they know that people are saying that it doesn't make sense for the Bears to have their own palette. It should be a palette swap. And that is the reason why they're changing up their moves. That's why you see Kuma with electrics and Heihachi moves. And then you see Panda with Ling Xiao Yu moves and stuff like that. So they hear what's going on. And I think they're trying to kill that whole uh, palette talk by giving Kuma and Panda their own moves or moves from Heihachi or Ling Xiao Yu or however y'all want to put it. Um, I do think it's a good thing that they're doing that because they're trying to get two, the two bears from being the exactly the same. And the reason that they're doing that is, is that they're really trying to take away the whole palette clone character thing anyway. So I think, you know, Bandai Namco and Harada, they're really trying to get away from that. They're trying to get away from identical palette characters. And this is the reason why they're switching it up when it comes to Kuma and Panda. Now, it makes a little bit more sense for them to have their own palette, even though a lot of people are not happy about that. But that's what they're doing. 
They're giving them their own moves so they can be like, okay, you know what? They're different. They deserve different palettes. And the same palette, they're practically the same character using the same moves, same data and all of that. So that's the reason for all of that. They're really trying to kill that whole palette clone thing, which they actually tried to do in Tekken 7. But with Kuma and Panda were probably the only characters that they didn't do that with. And that's why you didn't see a lot of characters such as Christy, such as Tiger, such as Violet, if you count Violet characters such as Combot and Mokujin. That's why you didn't see those characters in Tekken 7. Also, too, I didn't do Kuma's trailer. Now, the reason that I didn't do Kuma's trailer, it wasn't really like an F you to Kuma. It was just more like uh, with Kuma. The Bears, they're just the type of characters that I just have trouble finding deep opinions, deep thoughts. And so, therefore, that's why I didn't do the trailer. Uh, the Bears are not the only characters that I have that problem with. Like, Yoshimitsu is the same way. This is like, it's hard for me to come up with deep thought and deep opinions about that character. So, that's the reason why I didn't do his trailer. So, it wasn't a F you to Kuma, Panda, or Yoshimitsu. They're just the type of characters that I just really just have trouble finding deep thoughts and deep opinions about. And then on top of that, I kind of felt that this topic was a little bit more interesting because this is what people have been talking about ever since the Tekken 8 base roster got leaked and got revealed. And another thing that I want to tackle when it comes to the Bears, uh, you know, people just need to come to the realization that the Bears are pretty much uh, iconic, a legacy character status. Uh, they are there. Um, it's another reason why they decide to put the Bears in the base roster the way that they did, even though Harada didn't mention that. The Bears are pretty much in legacy character status. And the reason why I say that is because I can name a couple of fighting games in the past that have put like Bears in their fighting games, but not at the magnitude and not at the depth that they have when it comes to these Tekken games how we're consistently seeing these bears on these Tekken games. It's one of the reasons why you don't see no other animal characters such as Alex and such as Roger on these Tekken games because the bears are so iconic. You feel what I'm saying? And of course, Bandai Namco and Harada, they're going to ride that wave. You know, when a Tekken 9 or whatever comes out, the bears are going to be a part of that base roster because they are legacy character status. So pretty much when it comes to the bears, no one else is doing this. So that's pretty much another reason why you're seeing the Bears a part of the base roster because no one else is doing this. So when no one else is doing something, not only does that make it somewhat original, it also makes it impactful. So and that's what the Bears are doing right now, whether people like it or not. And like I said, I just wanted to come on here in this video and just kind of touch on why Harada uh, keeps putting these bears in the base roster just kind of touch on the idea and like I said even though it was short it was just pretty much where he was coming from from a video game standpoint y'all feel what I'm saying it's just basically he's taking advantage of what's going on when it comes to the video games the high tech and Tekken 8 being the most technically advanced Tekken game and so here you are they're taking advantage of it and we're seeing it with our own eyes what they're doing with these bears because of the new technology of Tekken 8. And last but not least, something that I really want to touch on, and it's probably the best time to touch on it because I'm talking about the Bears. Uh, there seems to be this community theory that uh, characters such as the Bears, Kuma and Panda, and a couple other characters, the reason that they're on the base roster is because they won't sell as DLC. Now, even though that makes sense in theory, when it comes to the Bears, I'm not going to buy that theory. I don't think the Bears are part of the base roster just because they wouldn't sell as DLC. Because like I said, the Bears have been consistent on these base rosters. So in their case, I'm not buying that theory. With a couple of other characters, maybe. But I don't think that's what is going on with the Bears. I think they're in there because what I've just mentioned, what I've just explained. And also, they're in there because of the reasons that Harada just explained. So... When it comes to the bear, that whole not selling his DLC theory, I don't think that's the reason why the bears are part of the base roster. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about what Harada said about the bears and the reasoning why the bears continue to be in the base roster. Put your comments in the comment section below. We can get a conversation started. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 action on the internet, period. I will get back at you in the next video. 
God bless. Stay safe. Happy New Year's. I am out. Peace. Peace.